<sighs> Welcome all, and thank you for watching another Technology Made Basic video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add and remove uh, different accounts onto your computer. Uh, let's go ahead and start by doing a right click over the start menu, over the start button on the bottom left. Once you do a right click, you're going to get a different start menu to come up than the uh, normal one if you do a left click. What we want to choose is run. And once you have the uh, run window up, go ahead and type N-E-T-P-L-W-I-Z. Hit enter, okay. And we're going to get these uh, this user accounts window. And what we're going to do here, we're going to add a, I'll show you how to add a local account and also how to add a Microsoft account. And basically the differences are, like if you add a local administrator account, you're, gonna, you're still going to have full access to your computer. You're going to have uh, access to all the software. Uh, the biggest difference between the two is if you add your Microsoft account, what you're doing is you're adding your Microsoft email account uh, and you're logging in with that email account onto your computer. And with that, the biggest thing that it does, it gives you access to all the apps and you'll be able to access uh, different things to, through the uh, Microsoft Store. So just for example, I'll go ahead and show you. Right now I'm logged into an administrator account, but it's a local administrator account. And we can, uh, if we go to the start menu, do a left click, and go to settings. Once we're in the uh, settings window, go ahead and click on accounts. Left click. And let's choose the family and other users. And as you can see here, I have two different accounts. They're both local accounts and they're both admins. You can change the account type on an account here. Uh, you can just uh, click on change account type and choose which, uh, you know, if you want a standard user or an administrator. And a standard user will give usually that profile most access to everything. It just doesn't allow you to change other settings for other profiles that are on the computer itself. Let's go ahead and minimize this. So what we're going to start by doing is adding a local account uh, first. And I would recommend to have both on your computer, to have a, a local admin account and also a Microsoft email account, just in case you happen to uh, get locked out of your uh, Microsoft account or there's issues with it, or if for some reason uh, it gets completely locked where you have to call and, and you know authenticate yourself. That's happened to different people before. So I would recommend to have, again, that local admin account that doesn't require your email to sign in and also the uh, Microsoft account if you want to do that to take advantages of that Microsoft store. So to do that, we can we have two different options. We can do it here uh, to through uh, add someone else to this PC, or we can choose this option here. Uh, so let's go ahead and click on Add. And in order to sign in, um, in order to create a, a local account, what you want to choose is the option where it says Sign In uh, without a Microsoft account. And you want to choose the option where it says Local Account. Let's just create a new one. Let's call it Test. Uh, And the, uh, it's up to you if you want to create a password. Of course, for security purpose, I would recommend to, you know, to always have a password. Depends on how you use your computer, but, you know, that's completely up to you. So uh, create one, hit next. And it, it's going to be the uh, local account. So just click finish. And what we can do is if we go back over here to the test three, you can see it says users here. It doesn't say administrator. It's not part of the administrators group. So in order to change it uh, here, we could go ahead and click on properties. Go to group membership and then just choose the administrator option, that radio button here. Hit apply, hit OK, and that's going to make that account part of the administrator. So I would recommend to at least have one local admin account just in case, uh, even if you uh, want to choose the Microsoft account option. Now to add a Microsoft account, we'll go ahead and click on add. Let's try that again. I don't know why it's not coming up. Just cancel out of here, reopen it, go to run, and again it's N N E T P L W I Z. Let's go ahead and click on add. There we go. So it's Windows, you know, things happen. So if that happens, just close it, reopen it, um, and you'll get the option again. So here we're going to add a Microsoft uh, email account. Let's go ahead and add that. Just type in the email account hit next and click finish and again it's part of the users so 
just to show you on this end, it's it's going to populate the new accounts that we just made. Let's just refresh this. Let's go back and then go into accounts again. Family and other. So we have all the accounts that we made here. Um, we have the test three and then we have the new email account. So let's go ahead and change the account type here. So once we do a left click over the account that we just made, change account type, change it to administrator, hit OK. And so they're pretty much all admin accounts now. So as you can see, you can you can use this setting or you can choose the, uh, the other uh, setting also. So I mean, they both do essentially the same thing. So let's go ahead and uh, cancel this, reopen it. Again, N-E-T-P-L-W-I-Z. And we have all the accounts here. And as we can see, their email account is an administrator account now. So we have a local admin account that's administrator, and we have a Microsoft email account that's administrator. Now, to keep in mind, when you create, when you sign in with your Microsoft uh, email account, you're always going to have to type in your password. Every time you do a restart, a sign out, you'll have to, um, you know, type in your password. There is a way that if you choose to... Uh, have your Microsoft uh, account sign in all the time. What you can do, if uh, if you want to do this, you can go to uh, pro highlight the email account, go to properties. Actually, no, sorry. Highlight the email account, and once you do that, uncheck this box where it says uh, users must enter a password, a, na a username and password to use this computer. And what that's going to do, and then once you hit apply, it's going to come up with a window, and what this is going to allow us to do, it's going to allow us to sign in with our Microsoft uh, email account onto our computer, but it's going to bypass us having to type in the password every single time. So here, what we can do is just go ahead and type in your email password associated with that account you just added. Hit OK. And then hit OK here. Now, in order for that uh, to take effect, you're going to have to do a restart on the computer. So once you do a full system restart through the start menu, oops, you can uh, do the restart or you can do a right click here, go to the shutdown and sign out. So here's the option to sign out if you just want to do a sign out. Now, if you do that, it's not going to take effect. What you want to do is a full system restart. So once you do that restart, the next time your computer boots up, it's automatically going to log you into that Microsoft account without having to type in your, your password every single time. So, and then what you want to do, if you want to sign into your uh, local admin account, you can just uh, simply hit sign out. And then once you do that, it's going to give you the option. It's going to give you all the options on all the accounts that you have, and you can just choose whichever account you want to sign into. So it's definitely a good thing to have both. You know, they have the uh, local admin account that's not tied in with any email, and then to also have your uh, Microsoft email account. So you could take advantages of all the Windows 10 features where you can synchronize everything associated with that Microsoft email account and you'll have access again to the Microsoft Store. Because right now, I'm on a local admin account. So if I go to the uh, store, navigate down to the store, and say I wanted to uh, download uh, an app, so I can click on it. It's going to want me to automatically sign into an account, but if I'm already signed into my Microsoft account, it's just going to automatically uh, download that app onto your computer. But since I'm on a local admin, I have to either enter an email or sign out and, lo and log into the Microsoft account. So again, it's it's I would recommend to have both just in case. Uh, you never know what's going to happen to your email account or one day you may not be able to sign in. Uh, so having both uh, definitely does not hurt. And uh, again, if you don't if you don't want to sign in with your password every single time you boot up, you know if you have multiple people in your in your house and multiple people are using the same computer, I would say just maybe keep that password on there if you don't want anybody accessing your content. But if it's just you and you're not too worried about anything, anybody getting to your computer, uh, you can go ahead and have your computer save that password. That way you're signed into your Microsoft account every single time and you don't have to keep you know typing in the password every time that you want to uh, sign in or use your computer. So again, uh, thank you for watching another uh, Technology Made Basic video. If you found this video informative, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. That way you can be alerted to any new content that we make. And also, if you would like to uh, for me to make any content or if you have any suggestions for any videos, please uh, be sure to message me. I'll go ahead and take a look at that and uh, reply back to you and let you know. Again, thank you.